Um, well, after the sort of the, the craziness that is Christmas and playing every other day, it seems like, was it grateful for a, a, a few days at least where you can kind of catch your thoughts and catch your breath? Yeah, um, you know, obviously the Christmas period over here is hectic. Um, you know, the, the quick turnaround, especially between the Oldham and the Portsmouth game was, was tough, but the gaffer utilised the squad very well and um, I thought we picked up some, some good results. Um, there was a few that you know, maybe we felt we could have could have turned them jaws into wins. It would have been a very, very good Christmas period. But you know, we'll take them them results with with confidence and um, take it into Saturday. Yeah, and certainly that last win it just puts a, an even better gloss on it, doesn't it? And, and hopefully, it's, it's given you a, a much happier last couple of weeks. Yeah, I said after the the Oldham game, um, you know, if we could turn them two points and um, win against Portsmouth, you know, make them two draws very good draws, and we did that. Um, so, so yeah, no, it was, a, it was a decent Christmas period for us and we're just hoping to kick on. So, have you had a nice bit of rest in there? You feel like you're refreshed for, for what is a long trip this weekend? Yeah, we got, um, I think the gaffer was trying to balance it between getting a bit of work in and um, giving us a few days off as well because you, you need that mm. to just to recharge the batteries. Um, so, so yeah, we had a few tough days of training and um, you know all the boys are, are raring to go. So for you personally, what's your goal for the second half of this season? What is it you're looking to get out of between now and May? Um, probably just a bit more consistency in my performances. Um, you know, probably been a bit up and down, like I've said before. Um, so yeah, if I can just keep, get a run of games in and um, just trying to sort of recapture the form of last season, then that would be perfect. Well, I suppose it, it, it's not that long ago that you sort of think back to the way that you and Tom were playing at the heart of that defence the second half of last year and, and it was, you know, that, that's what you're aspiring to. Yeah, you know, um, no, we're all still, still young lads, so you know that we're going to go through these patches in our careers where things probably just not dropping for us or we're fighting a game a bit. So, so yeah, no, you just got to stay positive and keep trying to do the right things from Monday to Friday and then hopefully if the gaffer gives you the opportunity to to play on the Saturday then um, hopefully you can take it so that's just all I'm trying to do for the, the rest of the season yeah. yeah obviously with the, the transfer window open the squads up and down the country are going to sort of get reshaped a little bit the first bit of that was, was Billy Bowden leaving and I guess whenever you get someone leaving from a dressing room there's always a, a tinge of sadness to that yeah he, he wasn't just uh, you know a fantastic player for the football club he was also a, a top lad um, you know he was a really nice re really nice lad you know always involved part of the banner in the change room so so he's a massive loss, but um, you know whoever has to step in from him, I'm sure will do a good job. Yeah, and I suppose from that point of view, the, the club and, and having Tom Lockyer sign a new deal for for any gas head, that'd be nice to see him in the blue and white courts for a few years longer. Yeah, you know, obviously he's um, spent his career so far and played a played a lot of games for the club, and um, you know you can see the the quality he's got. He's a he's a fantastic defender. You know, he's still still young, he's still learning, but you know to be a captain of a club at was he 22, mm -hmm. so it's all 22, 23. Um, you know, that's an you know, unbelievable achievement. So, um, so yeah, no, congratulations to him as well. Yeah, he's, he's always been a bit of an, uh, an old head on young shoulders. He get a bit of stick in the other dressing room for that. <laughs> no, not really. He's, ob he's obviously the, the captain. So, um, you know, on, on match days, he's, he's he's brilliant. Like in around the change room, he go, gets the boys going. Um, you know, like you said, he's he's young, but he, he does the job very well. So, um, so yeah, no, hopefully you can um, carry on doing that for the rest of the season. OK, it's starting, of course, at uh, Blackpool this weekend. Um, it, well, it's a long trip, but it's they're a team that, you know, well, the next year in the table, you can go above them with a, uh, a win. That's that's a great incentive. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, over the Christmas period as well, we obviously had Walsall and Oldham in the round us, and it was vital not to lose them. If, if, obviously, if we couldn't win. Um, so, yeah, no, it's another, it's another opportunity to go and win a game of football and... Um, you know, we'll try and put them, put the performances, performance for the, the fans that come up there, and um, you know, try and get the win. And and they're a team that have been they've been struggling a little bit recently. They've had the one win in in a good couple of months, so you just got to try and take advantage of that a little bit. Yeah, you know, but um, every game of football is different. So um, you know, I'm pretty sure they like when we were on our bad run, they're going to want to turn it around on Saturday. Um, so. So yeah, no, we'll, we don't really look at the form really. We know we just go out there and take it game by game, and then hopefully we can um, play as well as we did because we put on a very good performance for at Portsmouth. So, um, so hopefully we can carry that performance into the into this Saturday. And I'm pretty sure if we do that, we'll have a very good chance of winning it.